I just told you because we can have a different kind of memories. Uh, the memory could be like uh, uh, the non-programmable and the programmable one. Okay, so first of all, we have to start with the uh, non-programmable, and then we'll continue our analysis with the programmable one. Uh, the major objective of the programmable devices is to like suppose I have a programmable device, and if I want to implement any of the function on those devices, so basically based on our requirement, we can program it. Okay, so uh, this is what. the use of programmable devices but how we can do that what is the objective and other things we'll discuss later on before we start the programmable devices we should understand how the non programmable devices like read only memory uh, works and how we can uh, design any particular logic uh, based on the read only memory okay so if we talk about the read only memory in the read only memory uh basically in all kind of the memory like whatever we will discuss in today's lecture we'll talk about there are two things one is the end array and the second one is the r r array okay so there are two things that are available in any of the logic which we will discuss the first one is the end array and the second one is the uh, r array okay what is the importance of these things okay so in all the things like whatever we will discuss in terms of programmable uh, the major part will be same like uh, the input will be there end array will be there r array will be there output will be there so these all things are common everywhere but what is the difference between uh, this read only memory and other kind of programmable devices which we will look into it so if we talk about the read only memory in read only memory end structure and r structure both are fixed they are predefined once they are uh, design we cannot change it okay so this kind of structure we can call them the read only memory so end array and r array both are fixed okay uh, about other kind of segment i will tell you where uh, we cannot make it fixed we can make it programmable so what are the different sections which we can program so i will discuss it later on suppose based on this consideration whatever we just have like read only memory where we have a fixed and gate fixed or gate so how we can design the circuit okay how we can implement the circuit uh, based on this read only memory so to design a circuit we have a, like here the input sides are fixed and the or connections are also fixed so these two are the fixed sections okay so these uh, are the fixed connections now let us see what this example says or this diagram says this diagram says that suppose like uh, let us assume the uh, there are some product term uh, having 2 uh, to the power n number of and gates okay and gate means what like if i have a 2 to the power n number of and gates and if each and gate is having n number of inputs then the total number of fixed link on the r side will be like 2 into n into 2 to the power n from where this number comes this number comes from here like like 2 to the power n means the total number of and gates okay so suppose if i have a uh, two input <coughs> in that case the total number of, total number of uh, and gate will be 2 to the power 2 means 4 okay and now if four number of and gate is we have we have the and gates then n here n indicates how many inputs are there in each of and gates okay so for that purpose we need to use this uh, this n and this two indicates that one is for true value and the second one is for the complement value okay so this is let us assume whatever the input i have let us assume input is a so here a will be provided and i also need one complement of this one so that is why this two comes here so the total number of fixed links will be is equal to 2 into n into 2 to the power n okay so you should know what is the meaning of all these things okay so because uh, we have the 2 to the power n and gates so here which, which we have the product terms then if we talk about the r structure r structure means the 2 to the power n is nothing but 2 to the power n uh, n indicates here uh, the uh, whatever the we got here product terms here now here m indicates 
how many outputs I want to make. Okay, so the M is nothing but this is the number of output I have to design. Let us take that uh, take example. Suppose I have to uh, design a half header. Okay, suppose I have to design a half header with the help of read only memory. Okay, so in that case, how many number of inputs? We know that in half header we have two inputs. Okay, and we also need two number of outputs. Okay, so if number of inputs are two, then based on this formula, because here n is equal to two. Okay, so the number of fixed link will be two into n. Here n is nothing but this is two into two to the power two. So total I will get uh, uh, two to the power two means that is four. Four into two uh, that is eight. Eight into two sixteen. So sixteen number of fixed link will be on the input side of the read only memory. Okay, if I have to design the half header, in that case, sixteen number of fixed line links will be there. Okay, but see one very important thing. I will tell you more in more detail how we can design that one. So these are the maximum possible links. But which of the possible links will be connected, and which are the link, which of the links will not be connected? That depends on which kind of function I have to implement. Okay, uh, this number came from what kind of circuit? I have to implement and in that circuit, how many inputs and how many outputs are there? Because in half header, I have two number of inputs. So based on that, I got sixteen number of fixed links will be there. Okay. So this is how we can calculate. Now similarly, if we talk about a fixed link for the R structure, so this fixed link is nothing but this is for the end structure, and the the next fixed link is for The uh, R structure, and here, if we can calculate here, two to the power n is nothing but because the number of uh, n is equal to two, so two to the power two that is equal to four into m is the number of output, and we know that for the half header the number of outputs are two, so four into two that it means eight number of fixed link will be there in the R structure if I have to design half header based on read only memory. so let us try to summarize it suppose if i have to design the uh, uh, read only memory based half header in that case 16 number of uh, end fixed links is, will be there and eight number of uh, or fixed links will be there okay now out of this 16 and 4 how many links will be connected and how many links will not be connected that depends that depends on what is the exact expression for all the outputs and all the inputs okay so let us try to see it so if you have any doubt at this point you can ask the question because this is important if you are able to understand this one then you can uh, you can uh, design any kind of circuit based on this uh, uh, programmable logics okay so this is one uh, very important thing that need to be discussed now uh, one one small thing like we, this particular thing we have already seen before Uh, what we have seen here, like suppose if there are some R gate having four number of input and the structure is something like this, so we can repli replicate uh, rep uh, replace this uh, uh, R gate with this kind of a structure. So this is what we have already done. Similarly, if we have a structure something like end kind of, so this end kind of a structure can also be uh, uh, drawn something like that. So these two are the simplified diagram uh, that can represent the end end. Or kind of gates. Okay. Now, based on this understanding, whatever we have, remember here the dot is given. Dot indicates the fixed kind of. Okay. And wherever the cross is given, cross indicates it is programmable. Okay. Cross means programmable, and dot means the fixed kind of. Okay. We will see this kind these things later on. Okay. Now let us take one example. and then try to design the circuit uh, based on this rom structure so let us take an example implement the half header using read only memory i just told you read only memory is having both the uh, uh, groups like either it is uh, end or it is or both kind of array this both array are uh, fixed kind of okay we cannot program it later on once it is done okay so once we have finished we cannot program it okay now 
let us try to see here we know that the uh, structure this is a simple structure of half, half header having two inputs a0 and the a1 these two are the input and sum and carry these two are the outputs okay if we have the structure something like this the two table for the half header is something like this one where we have a 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 these are the input combination and based on that sum and carry are something like this so this is what we already know so i don't need to tell you how it 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 it, it comes okay so based on two inputs a0 and a1 the sum in the carry will be 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 0 1 and whatever we have okay now if we try to implement right if we try to write this function what does it mean if we try to write this function sum is nothing but this is the summation of one and two we already know and the carry is nothing but this is summation of three so this is what i'm just teaching uh, this is what you already know all these things now the question is if i have a function for sum and carry something like this how i can design this half header with the help of rom structure okay so let us try to check it out i already told you in any of the rom structure uh, i have a, a and array and the or array okay so let us try to see here here i have two inputs there are there, there are possible so this array whatever i can see here this is nothing but this is the end array okay so how many total number of end gates are required the total number of end gates are required that depends on how many inputs are there okay so total number of inputs are two so the, the the end gate requirement will be two to the power two that is equal to four that is why four end gates are here okay so this is first thing what we had done now the second thing we have to understand is like how many fixed lines are there because if you see here closely i can have a two number of inputs one input is let us assume this is the a1 and the second input is a0 and both the input can have uh, its true value and the complement value okay so for a1 uh, this this line is for a1 this line is for a1 complement because the one inverter is used this line is for a0 and this line is for a0 complement okay so total four lines i will have now because i have four number of uh, uh, end gate so total number of fixed links if you can see here 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So these all are the fixed link based on the input combination and the requirement of the gate. Okay. So these all are the fixed link. Now, so this is all about how many end gates are required and uh, what is the fixed, how many fixed links are required. Now let us talk about the output side. Uh, let us talk about the R kind of structure. In R structure, I told you the total number of fixed links will be 2 to the power n into m, where this n is the number of input and m is the number of output. So, if you see the half header, in the half header, the total number of inputs are 2. So, 2 to the power 2 into m, output is also no, uh, uh, the number of outputs are 2. So, this will be 2. So, total number of 8 fixed links will be there. So, if you see here, on the output side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. These all are the fixed links. Okay. So this is how we are getting the fixed links. Now we need two number of R gates for that purpose because how many uh, outputs are there? Total number of R gate requirement will be de uh, that depends on how, what is, uh, how many outputs are there. So if M number of outputs are there, then total M number of R gate is required okay so this is all about how this circuit works now let us try to see how this circuit can behave as a half header okay one more thing is missing here this particular section that indicates yeah, i will tell you later let us first finish the uh, the crossing points then i will tell you later on if you see here uh, the expression for sum and carry is nothing but like see here we can have a four possibilities okay uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so the first thing which we can make here let us assume this end gate is giving 
zero zero kind of structure like a zero and a one both are zero zero. So in that case, this will be nothing. It will be a one bar into a zero bar. And if I want a one bar and a zero bar, so what I have to do? I have to connect this line. Yes, uh, a one bar and a zero bar. something like this so i have to encircle these two fixed links okay rest this and this fixed link will not be encircled because this is not needed at this point next segment could be like 0 1 is there so 0 1 indicates like it will be a1 bar and a0 okay a1 bar and a0 what it means this is nothing but this is the a1 bar and this is the a0 so this two will be circled now the third section will be like 10 10 10 indicates a1 and a0 bar a1 and a0 bar means this will be circled and a0 bar is this one okay so this will be circled next one is the last one could be a1 and a0 so a1 and a0 means this will be circled and this will be circled so this is what we have made so the total number of fixed points uh, are nothing but this is the uh, uh, eight eight number of fixed points will be there on the input side now let us talk about the output side on the output side if you see here output and output side i need sum and the carry so let us assume the first one is for the sum okay so let us assume this is for sum and this is for the carry okay for some what i need i need uh, the two are high okay two are high and these two are the first one is this one this min term and the second one is this min term so if these two min terms are high so these two min terms indicates like this min term indicates a1 bar into a0 so a1 bar a0 this one and the second one which is high like a1 and a0 bar so if i am considering the sum so these two will be considered and if these two will be considered what it means it means that these two will be circled for the sum these two will be circled okay similarly if i have to make for the uh, carry so for carry only one is circled which is the m3 and m3 is nothing but uh, a1 and a, a1 a0 so a1 a0 is here so this will be circled so if these two are circled these are fused what it means uh, whatever the input i will give i will get the sum and carry from here but still there is one thing uh, that is left that i need to understand okay what is the role of this section whatever i can see here what is the role of this section okay so the role of uh, the uh, the role of this section is to give the output whenever so see whatever the connections i have here okay if the connections are there then at this point i will get sum and at this point i will get carry but if i don't want to get even though i have provided the inputs and i am getting sum and carry and sometimes i may not need this data okay so if i don't need this data what i have to do i have to keep this value one so if this value is one this will not enable this buffers these are nothing but these are the buffer something like this let me explain how it looks like this is the buffer uh, whatever the input is there and output is there input will follow the same thing but this enable signal indicates if it is zero then this buffer will work otherwise this will be in the high impedance state okay so this Uh, like uh, if enable is equal to zero, then input will pass to the output, and if in enable is equal to one, then it will act as an open circuit. So high impedance state will be there. So even though the the things are connected, like sum and carry are connected, this will not be passed at the output. So this is what the role of this block is, or this module is, and we call this module is output enable. OE is nothing but this is the output enable. So output enable. Like if the output enable is activated, like zero logic zero is given, 
so this both the buffer will be in on state so whatever the sum and carry is there that will be passed at sum and carry and we will get the sum and carry out expression so this is how we can make it but the problem with this kind of structure like with rom structure is like once it is programmed we cannot erase it okay so the normal rom is not sufficient uh, once it is programmed you cannot erase it okay so whatever the circuit we have this this will be fixed for a particular operation okay so to overcome that problem we need to get some of the logics that that are programmable okay so let us try to see what are those programmable logics and how we can program them okay so if you have any doubt at this point how we have designed this one so encirclement and everything you can ask the questions okay one thing that you have to remember the circle indicates the fixed point that cannot be removed and whenever the cross symbol is there that indicates uh, this is programmable okay so because the rom is not programmable so both the input and output kind of uh, the links will be fixed so they both are in circled form okay so if you have any doubt you can other ask the questions otherwise we can move ahead with the programmable kind of devices okay so because there are, there is a limitation of read only memory which like i cannot program it once it is fixed uh, the logic will be fixed 